welcome to Duran ASEAN. You're with Gary here today on our Friday morning. And this is, of course, Anything Can Happen Friday, where we bring you the arts and culture side of Southeast Asia. And for today, we'll be uh, discussing a very interesting topic. Uh, we'll be discussing fitness. Of course, it's a very popular topic now that everyone is becoming more and more uh, self-conscious about their health and appearance. And also, obesity is actually becoming quite a problem uh, in Malaysia. Malaysia. And we'll be uh, discussing uh, a few things uh, today. Uh, also, the launch of a new travel fitness show, which you will be uh, learning about soon enough. But before that, let me introduce you to our guest uh, today. Uh, I'm speaking to uh, Didi Mahmud, who's in the studio here with me. And she's a, a fitness lecturer, a nutritionist, as well as a celebrity trainer. So let's say good morning. Hi. Hi. Good morning, Gary. Great to good have morning. you here. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for, for having me. Us. Thank you for having me. Right. How, how are you? How are you today? I am good. I'm feeling really, really good. And you always look so energetic as well, no oh. matter what time of the day. <laughs> <laughs> we need that energy. We need that energy. Okay. Mm-hmm. So maybe uh, just a little bit of introduction uh, to your work uh, as a lecturer, as well as what do you do as a nutritionist and a celebrity trainer? Okay. Uh, well, I, I am so blessed uh, actually to marry or rather to merge everything that I love mm-hmm. uh, into to um, a profession, basically. So uh, what I do is that uh, I am actually a sports science and sports management lecturer mm-hmm. at the University of Malaya, okay, um, um, at the sports center. And then at the same time, uh, apart from lecturing for, the, uh, for with the students, you know, and then we're doing like practical things together and all that, okay. I'm also um, um, a nutritionist, okay, uh, where um, I do consultancy work, you know, uh, with a corporate organization. Or mm-hmm. public organizations or NGOs, yeah. And then at the same time, I'm also an exercise physiologist. So basically, I also uh, go in and work with communities and even the corporates mm-hmm. and uh, schools and universities and all that, you know, institutions, uh, learning institutions and all that. So and then at the same time, I'm also a trainer. Okay. okay so I get to you know uh, do lots of lovely things, you know, jumping up and down, you know, <laughs> doing all my fitness routine with all the community of all walks of life, all mm-hmm. right, and then um, I'm also a Fat to Fit um, mentor, of course. okay, yeah, Fat to Fit Singapore and mm-hmm. Malaysia uh, mentor, and we are going to uh, Fat to Fit Brunei and also Fat to Fit Asia soon okay. enough. Tell us more about uh, your Fat to Fit program. Okay, it's actually a three months mm-hmm. program, which I actually started off in Singapore. We have a few uh, seasons already. Mm-hmm. And then the next uh, moment when I came to Malaysia in 2013, I actually brought it to um, RTM, all right, uh, as the national network. And then after that, I came out and uh, do uh, Fat to Fit Mara. And then uh, we have Fat to Fit uh, University of Malaya. Okay. And yesterday, okay, uh, was the closing ceremony of Fat to fit season two Mm -hmm. so last year we had season one and we had a drop of 20 kilograms within three months okay in a healthy way and yesterday i'm so happy that they actually maintain you know the the 20 kilograms within you know uh, within uh, three months okay Mm -hmm. for the season two so yeah and uh, apart from weight loss and all that you know they lost lots of fat weight yeah and then they really look very good and of course more confident okay yeah and they all had uh, sort of like little graduation ceremony as well oh yeah it was <laughs> it was so lovely, you know, to see them with the mortar board uh-huh, and all. It's so uh-huh. symbolic, you know, because when I first met them, when, when they were first introduced to me, I mm-hmm. selected them through mm-hmm. auditions and all that. Okay, and uh, what happened was that uh, most of, I mean, all of them were obese, all right? Mm-hmm. And then not only that, there, there were several uh, mor- obit, uh, morbid obesity cases where, you know, mm-hmm. just like me last time, I used to be right. morbid obese, you know, at 40 BMI and above, all right? And some of them were that. And, and the things that, uh, you know, looking at their gait, their movements and all that, you know, you know, they are you no. Know, some of them are pretty young, like twenty mm-hmm. odd of, over years. Yeah. But the way they move is like you know somebody who's like fifty years old, right. you know. Yeah. So the gait and all that, and not only that, their fitness was very low. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the things uh, that I actually made them do was you know try to walk um, yeah, maybe a four hundred meters one round of a arena stadium. Mm-hmm. You know, when I first started with them, but they could barely even complete the whole thing. Right. But okay. right now, you know, I was so happy yesterday. It was uh, you know at the press uh, at the uh, press conference. Launch. Mm-hmm. I actually announced that, yeah, you know, right now they are able to um, actually complete 8 to 11 rounds running, okay, uh-huh. jogging and running. 
And that's not including their three rounds of um, you know warm ups. <laughs> right. You know, okay. they're amazing, don't you think? It is amazing. <laughs> and uh, when we talk about fat, right? I think the word itself uh, generally has a very uh, degrading right. uh, connotation to it. Right. Uh, in your opinion, do you think it's it's wrong to call someone fat? Okay. Uh, ah, okay. Um, I know how it feels because <laughs> I course. used to be morbidly obese. Yeah. You know, I used to be 90 kilograms and that was uh, like about uh, 40 BMI. Mm. You know, so that's huge, right? And for someone to call me fat, okay, I, I had a, a case where, you know, someone actually called me, hey, TD, tuck in your tummy. Oh, you know, okay. Oh, yeah. So my tummy, you know, was not something, you know, tuck in your shirt, he actually said. So uh, what, what he actually meant was tuck in my tummy, right? Because there was a, you know, a lot of blaps <laughs> coming out and all that. And that was really, um, you know, like um, depressed me a lot, okay? Mm. And again, the fat, the word, the three-letter word, no? Yeah. <laughs> it is the like, other three-letter word. Oh, yeah, the other three-letter <laughs> word. Okay, it's, yeah, it, it, it depresses you, mm. okay? And and sometimes, you know, when, when people call you that, you know, you, you felt really down and uh, really, you know, you lose your self-esteem and all that. And But sometimes it is the way you, um, you know, you re- respond to it, mm. okay? The way you respond to it, like, um, of course, you know, um, you, you, you know, it's up to you to, you know, give people permission to make you feel right. down, yes. right? But again, mm. okay, the reality is the reality. If you're fat, yes, you're fat. You know what I mean? If you have that much fat percentage mm. or that high BMI or something like that. And of course, BMI is not, um, you know, the main thing that we actually measure. We're, we're measuring fats and all that, right? But if you're really fat, yeah, I think you should take a look and then after that, do something to actually solve the uh, problem, mm-hmm. you know, and of course, you know, like we, uh, particularly ladies, you know, yes. when they wear something, yes. they, you know, they would ask their boyfriends or their husbands, <laughs> "Am I fat?" The million hoping, dollar question. <laughs> hoping that yeah. the answer is that no, darling, you know, you look really good. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, yeah. if the boyfriend would say, "Yeah, darling, you look really good," but are they really telling the truth? If they are, then mm-hmm. yes, that's good. But if they're not, then again, you might be masking the reality. You know, you mm. might be in denial. Right. You know what I mean? So I think the way you respond to the three-letter word Mm. is something that you need to take a look at, seriously, serious look at. Right. Yeah. And I think it's also a matter of uh, acceptance as well. Uh, yes. Like you said, it's how you, you respond to it. So you can either choose to be depressed about it and, and keep wallowing in self-pity. Yes. Or you can actually get up and do something about it. Yes. Or like joining fitness programs and all. Right. Uh, but when it comes to uh, fat to fit, right. uh, I think the, the name itself yeah. uh, has uh, the word fat in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and when people show up, are they uh, all obese? Or do you actually find some skinny people showing up thinking that they are fat? Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I have I have like uh, some people showing up mm-hmm. okay that's uh, they don't have uh, they really don't have a, a, um, a weight a, a huge weight problem okay. okay but they still think they're fat well I empathize with that because I used to be obese I lost so much weight all right um, and then after that you know I you know, sometimes, and I had bulimia, mm-hmm. okay, and 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 trying to get over that prob uh, that bulimic problem was mm-hmm. such a traumatic thing for me. Mm-hmm. I had to go through a psychologist and all that. Right. And even at certain times, if I don't keep myself in check, mm-hmm. even now that I'm in good, healthy BMI yes. weight and all that, you know, I would look at the mirror and say, oh. I'm fat, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, so you got to keep constantly a lookout and a check whether you go into that that mode. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So again, um, you know, uh, I had people who's mm-hmm. actually not really um, obese yeah. coming to me and say, oh, "Didi, I'm fat. I need to lose weight and all right. that." You know what I mean? Right. So uh, that one you have to take a, a good look at. You know, mm-hmm. like uh, that one would I, I would say is like. A case of uh, psychological okay. connotations to okay. that, you know? Yeah, yeah. But uh, then again, uh, being thin or skinny mm-hmm. doesn't necessarily mean that you're healthy either. Right? Oh, yes, you, yes. Yeah. That's what is in my book. You know, yesterday we had a launch of the book. <laughs> of okay, course, the book is yeah. called Obesity Dilemma, mm-hmm. The Obesity Paradox Revisited. Okay. okay. Now, in that book, I talk about is uh, is fat, uh, okay, is thinner healthier? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, is thinner healthier or is fat sicker? You know, uh-huh. right? Or is it the other way around? Okay. okay. Now, again, um, research, okay, has shown many research has shown, all right, that uh, there there are several researches that shows that okay, being fat itself uh, has a therapeutic 
quality to it, you know? Really? Yeah, I mean, that's amazing, right? I mean, okay, okay, uh, you have to listen to me to the end. Okay, <laughs> right. don't go out and say, yay, I can be fat, you know? No. Okay. okay. Uh, now, therapeutic uh, quality to it, meaning, okay, a person who is fat but who's exercising, mm -hmm. okay, actually recovers from, um, you know, cardiovascular diseases better okay. rather than from a thin person who does not exercise. Mm -hmm. You know, now, I have several, uh, many people I've met through, uh, uh, you know, my journey in health and all that, uh, was actually like thin, particularly like uh, the, the I think I would, I would if you would allow me to quote, sure. uh, Chinese, okay, most Chinese mm. are actually, um, you know, uh, true statistics as well, they are mostly, most of them are rather thin in nature as mm -hmm. compared to Indians and Malays, yeah. right? Uh, even in Singapore, all right? Yeah. Now, uh, but there's a high uh, percentage of Chinese who actually dies, okay, of stroke and heart attacks, you know, okay. and, 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 and you know, most of them are actually thin, okay? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when I work with the Heart Foundation, I was the ambassador for the Singapore Heart Foundation, mm -hmm. all right? Um, what happened was that I noticed that, uh, you know, Chinese, they are basically quite thin and Malays come in as very fat, mm -hmm. you know? And, and again, you know, uh, why are the, the thin people having heart attacks and all that, you right. know? Yeah, and, um, you know, being fat is not only about food. You know, you think about fat and you think mm -hmm. about, wow, you know, it's because you're not looking after your food or, or oh, you must be a glutton, you mm -hmm. know, and after you eat lots of food and all that. No, that's not the only reason you're fat, you know. It's that actually also the obesogenic environment okay. whereby, you know, the environment actually supports you being fat. You know, like, uh, you know, we have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, good amenities that actually like, you know, um, mm -hmm. you notice even in Mal Malaysia, you yeah. know, with, with, the, with the jam and all that, right? You still see people driving, you know, if, if they can go up to uh, their, their, their meetings, you know, uh, in the car, they'll right. probably, you know, drive up. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, uh, they want to park their car really, really below near. their building block, you know. Exactly. Yeah, and then they don't want to take the lift, you mm -hmm. know. I, they don't, they, they want to take the lift, they don't want to take the stairs, you know, things like that, you okay. know. And again, like, um, when you want to eat, it's always the fast food, mm -hmm. all right, and sometimes that's what, you know, uh, the fast fat. Mm -hmm. You know, that comes in, you know yes. what I mean? Yeah, so it's actually this everyday life things. And then mm -hmm. again, okay, in Malaysia, as in Singapore, okay, and as in Asia, that is, you know, it's so easy to get food everywhere. Yes, it you is. know, I was with a friend from Spain, you know, the other day, <laughs> you know, I actually uh, hosted he, him and his wife. Um, he is actually, uh, you know, in uh, in the, the health and fitness industry right. as well. Okay, a lecturer over there in the University of Murcia. Okay, and then he says, you know, Didi, I'm so strange, you know. Uh, you know, I feel so strange. I said, why? You know, in Kuala Lumpur, you know, you go everywhere. You see people eating at <laughs> all times. We don't eat as much. You know, right. we only, you know, eat at, uh, you know, 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we had lunch, you know, maybe at 2 or 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And then after that, yeah. That's it. Yeah, and then in between, you don't see people sitting down and eating and eating, you know. Right, okay. right here, it's like you go everywhere, it's like food. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So yeah. I said, really? You know? And then I said, no, I must move to Spain. <laughs> <laughs> to lose weight. Yeah. <laughs> but right. again, I mean, for me as a nutritionist, you know, mm. uh, I've come to a point where I could easily merge uh, eating what you like, mm -hmm. okay, and then teaching the shortcuts, you know, the, right. the weight management tips i've got a lot of shortcuts believe you me oh yeah okay. okay and that's why you know it's in my fitness dvd uh, -huh. uh and then also again uh in that book you know i mentioned just now okay you can actually go to um press okay mm -hmm. university of malaya mm -hmm. press and then uh you know google them and then after yeah. that you can uh, order the the book online and all that it's mm -hmm. actually limited edition okay so you have to just put in the, the order and then after mm -hmm. they'll print it out and you know they'll they'll publish it out and then you know like send it to you and all okay. that it's as easy as that and again you know um like like uh, to get my dvd right i, I think you know uh, at duran asiana you know at at dd www.ddfitness.com you know they could actually get a uh, you know my move like dd yeah, dvd sure. yeah and then after that, there's a lot of shortcuts in there again yeah. you know when we're talking about exercise okay there's uh, another one of my expertise okay um okay last time we used to think that okay exercising 40 minutes and then you start burning fast mm. So people will sit on the treadmill, yes. you know, for ages. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I mean, who has the time? Yeah. You know, I mean, 
I don't think many people has like about at least mm-hmm. 40 minutes to do their gym routine or something, okay? Mm-hmm. Of course, it's highly recommended, right? Okay, I mean, American College of Sports Medicine says that you need to have 150 minutes per week, okay? okay? Accumulated 150 minutes per week and that's for healthy people. Mm-hmm. Ah, so, if you have weight management problems, okay? If you have weight problems and all that, you want to lose that weight, you need to accumulate to 240 to 280, mm-hmm. you know, uh, minutes per week. Right. And that's a lot, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I always say that even at work, you know, you can do your squats, you know, like, you know, you can you use your, um, you know, your, your while talking on the phone or something like that. You can do things at your, your workstation, okay. you know, to actually start burning, uh, you know, little weights, you know, it's accumulated, mm-hmm. you know, burning right, right. that okay. actually helps you, you know, it's not that, you know, you just go to the gym, mm-hmm. you know, for that one hour and then for the rest of the seven days, you know, mm-hmm. you just... You know, like lay part, you see, right? <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. So uh, mm-hmm. we will take a very quick break. When we come back, we will talk more about uh, some of the shortcuts available and also about the different uh, types uh, of fat uh, that we have. All right. You're now listening to Durian ASEAN, the voice of discovery and sharing. Anything can happen Friday. <laughs> The art and cultural site of Southeast Asia. Hello and welcome back to Duran ASEAN. You're still with Gauri here on your Anything Can Happen Friday only on DuranASEAN.com. And of course, I'm speaking to Didi today who is a lecturer, nutritionist and celebrity trainer. And... Uh, Well, earlier we were talking about a few shortcuts uh, to to weight loss or little exercises that you can do. Uh, Maybe we can uh, take it from there as well. I think a lot of people uh, these days are very hectic with their lifestyle, with work and uh, meetings and whatnot. How can they make sure that They, they work out no matter where they are, like you were saying, in the car, in the office, wherever that is. Right. Um, I think, okay, first of all, uh, there are many shortcuts, actually, mm-hmm. okay, which I, I found out. I've researched on it and of all course. that, you know, so <laughs> it's really lovely to share with everyone at Durian ASEAN, you know. Um, okay, first of all, uh, for for every one of us who wants to lose weight, okay, uh, you have to be in a mindset to do that, right? And of course, uh, you know, uh, again, we go through denial, uh, we go through, uh, you know, acceptance, you know, that kind mm-hmm. of uh, process. Okay, now, what I want, uh, uh, what we can actually start doing, okay, number one is get a journal, okay, get a book and, and just say that, hey, okay, I'm going to make a difference here, okay. Mm-hmm. Today I wake up and I say, this is a new day. All right, just forget about yesterday, okay, dust off, eh, you know, people get, you know, uh, if you notice, a lot of people break their, their diet routine, basically, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. They'll say, okay, I'm going to look after my food, yeah. you know, today. And then after that, your friend comes in and say, hey, come on, let's go for <laughs> coffee or tea or something. And then you, you hit that, that cake and you feel really, you know, oh, come on, it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. You had a piece of cake and say, okay, uh, okay, I failed today. Okay, we'll start uh, tomorrow, you know. Right. So what I want everyone to do, including myself, okay, whenever I talk about this, I'm mm-hmm. always constantly reminding myself, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, it's, um, it's just get over whatever pitfalls, okay, obstacles, okay, at that point of time. Oh, yeah, so what, you eat a slice of cake. Yeah. Okay. Brush, brush it off okay. and say, all right, this is a new, let's take a deep breath and move, okay? And forget about what you just did, okay? Mm-hmm. So, it's a new clean slate. That's one. Number two, it's good to have a journal, okay. all right, where, whereby you have, uh, you know, you write in it your thoughts, okay? Mm-hmm. Because your thoughts actually controls your actions, all right? A lot of people, uh, you know... Uh, You know, sometimes like not aware of that, okay, but that's uh, that's your key. That's why, uh, you know, um, um, myself uh, as the ambassador, a newly uh, appointed ambassador of Chief, mm-hmm. okay, uh, it's actually connected healthcare, uh, innovative, um, you know, uh, fitness solutions and all that. Okay. Okay, it's actually um, a, a, a portal of wellness, okay, where mm-hmm. we've researched with a team or, uh, at the Artificial Robotics Intelligence of University of Malaya, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we come up with things like, uh, you know, how to track your sleep, You know, your mm-hmm. um, your movements, okay? And then, uh, you know, uh, again, what you eat. And again, like you can take photographs of your, your food. And then right. it gets automatically upload. You don't have to calculate, okay. you know, and all that. You know, sometimes right. it's cumbersome to calculate. Yeah. But again, uh, you know, if you want to do it the old-fashioned way, yeah, by all means. But whatever you need to do, mm. document it, journal it, okay? Call the journal you. 
this is a special you in a book, you know, mm-hmm. because there will be times, okay, uh, trust me on this one, there will be times that sometimes you feel down mm-hmm. and you break that, you know, exercise routine yes. or you go back on your diet thing and then after that you feel so down and then, oh, throw everything to the wind and, mm-hmm. you know, uh, okay, and go on comfort <laughs> food and comfort zone and comfort sofa mm-hmm. and, you know, couch potato, right. you know. So again, pick yourself up. You know, at all times. Mm-hmm. And then number mm-hmm. one, uh, number two, uh, again, you need to think, okay, you need to think, um, you know, in a different way. Okay, example. Okay. You know, sometimes uh, we are in a mode like, uh, you know, oh, I feel, I I, 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 I can't eat that. Mm-hmm. You know, something like that. You you see something that you like, you know, yes. that's kind of sinful, yes. you know, many calories, many fat contents in it. They say, I can't eat that. Oh, you know, why don't you think like, I don't want to eat that. It's a choice, you know? <laughs> right, right. So, you notice that when you say, I can't eat that, mm-hmm. you put yourself in a, a... A victim position. Yeah, victim yeah. position. But when you tell yourself in the same situation, okay, I choose not to eat that, mm-hmm. and then you notice that your brain thinks differently. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that's the, the second step that you need to do. Mm-hmm. Okay, take control of your brain, okay? Number three, again, we have the journal, and then we have the portal, okay? Now, that portal again, the chief, okay? You can just Google chief, C-H-I-E-F, yeah. and then after that, or, or maybe just go on DD Mahmoud Facebook, mm-hmm. you know? And then after that, you know, you will just see that you can actually, um, you know, um, download the app, you know, mm-hmm. and then after that, it'll, it'll track you. And again, it will allow people like me, okay, like myself, I can track you wherever you are yes. and give you advice and all that. And then we are into like second phase and third phase where we actually uh, are doing research on your blood glucose and your blood mm-hmm. pressure. Mm-hmm. And even right now, we already launched the, you know, the weighing scale where you step on it. You don't even have to key it in. Oh. It gets straight away key, uh, you know, uh, trans- uh, trans- translated into okay. Your, okay. your mobile phone and all that, you know. Mm. So it's, Things like that that you need to track, okay? Number two, uh, number three is you need to track yourself. Whether through journals or whether through, um, you know, um, you know, a tracker, okay, yeah. you need to track yourself. Now, another thing is, you know, people might think this is really strange, you know. Okay, how many of us, when we want to lose that weight, this is, you know, like New Year body resolution. Oh, yeah, corner. about time. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about time you call me to the studio today. Exactly. <laughs> okay, we are preparing everybody ahead right. of the New Year uh-huh. okay, resolution. Okay, now if you notice, right, uh, New Year resolution, okay, uh, you, you know, a lot of us will say, yeah, okay, I'm going to be secretive about my weight loss uh-huh. pursuits. Right. I'm not going to tell people that I exercise, you know, and then after that, maybe three months later, I'll come out and say, ta-da! I lost weight. <laughs> All right, research yes. from many universities in UK and US, okay, have shown conclusively that if you don't tell anyone that you want to lose that weight, mm. highly likely mm. that you're not going to lose that weight. Okay. Okay, the reason being your brain is not accountable. Okay, another reason being when you're in that mode, you're not telling anyone that you want to lose weight, you're actually buying insurance. With yourself, right? You know, I mean, right. basically, you, 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 you're not sure. You yeah, know? and you're so, not putting yourself on the line. Yes, and telling you know? people about it. Yes, yeah. yes. So whenever people come into my fat to fit, uh, you know, weight management routine or yes. any of my exercise class, I will ask them, "What do you want to do?" Okay, I want to lose weight. Okay, go and tell somebody extra mm. that you have not told before, and it, it shouldn't be anybody on the street. Mm. It must be somebody who knows you, right? You know, and and know and, and maybe call you fat or mm. you know, <laughs> you know before. Okay, and go and tell them. Yeah, I want to lose weight. Yeah. But again, some people say, "Didi, I'm so afraid if you know if I want to lose weight, all right? Like like you know, if I tell them, and then they will say, you know, like, oh yeah, you want to lose that weight? Yeah. You know, they're just gonna make fun of I you. See. So what I tell them to do is that. You know, please help me. You know, you must tell them I'm mm. a work in progress. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see, it's the word that you use. Okay. I'm a work in progress. This is going to be the New Year resolution. Mm-hmm. I hope you can su- support me in this journey. You know. Okay. So people will will tend to be very friendly to you, uh, with mm-hmm. you on that one. You know what I mean? Right. So we need all the support. Okay. Okay. Now another thing is that do you know that you are the sum average of five people that you, that you mix around with? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you are... It's a scary truth. Yeah, it is the scary truth. And basically, you know, if you always hang out with, you know, people, you know, mm. like, like, you know, okay, look at look at yourself, okay? Like, uh, choose your friends. Mm-hmm. Again, okay, choose your friends to do the, the good things that you want to do. So, again, mm. well, of course, right now, okay, let's mm-hmm. say you have five uh, people who are overweight, who's really your best friend, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, what do you do? Do you throw them out? No, you know... 
what you do is okay get into a bond mm. okay and tell them hey uh, look no uh, Didi says that you know uh, research has shown that we are the sum average of the five people closest <laughs> to us you know so look at us okay we are not ready you know we have the blabs and all that mm-hmm. okay the blabbers and all that okay why don't we do something for the new year resolution yeah. start right now you know and that ahead of time you know and then that, let's do something let's do something small together mm-hmm. let's you know when we go out look after each other mm-hmm. and remind us okay if one of us starts you know uh, or doing healthier food, the rest of us must follow suit. Okay. All right. If one of us, you know, order healthy food, mm-hmm. and then the rest of us starts like like the the Malaysian word is like kuto, you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, and then it starts saying yeah yeah yeah, you know, you want to eat yeah, mm-hmm. you're a healthy diet, yeah, you know, something like that. You put you put one of your friends down, then the other three will follow suit. You That's know what true. I mean? Yeah. So be a good bond. Mm-hmm. You know, be a good bond. Okay. Positive. Breeds positive. That's you true. You notice that, right? <laughs> when yeah. you when you have positive aura, mm. people like to be around you. Mm-hmm. So be that. Right. You know, I mean, life is too short for you to be negative. You know. Okay. And again, why make yourself feel unhappy? You know, life is supposed to be happy. You must be happy. You know, it is a God-granted gift that you have to be happy. You must mm-hmm. be happy. It's a choice you make. Right. So be happy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I want to ask you about teenagers as well. Uh, I think maybe because of the rise in Instagram uh, popularity and, and Facebook selfies, there's a lot of, uh, uh, I would say, uh unjustified obsession when it comes to having a collarbones uh, around around your your neck area and also this obsession with tie gaps uh, that they are trying to lose weight in a particular way that there's a little triangular shape between the ties uh, what do you think about this and uh, and you also have a program that you're working on with teenagers as well right right okay uh, I've worked with teenagers uh, the NRX6 you know mm-hmm. in, in Australia okay and then again uh, I used to be bulimic before for, you know, yes. I've worked very closely with people, you know, uh, who actually are exercise nervosa. That means they exercise uh, 24-7 and all the time and they're not eating. You know, I've got cases mm. like uh, people, you know, teenagers not eating. They're exercising like crazy and they're not eating and just popping, uh, you know, supplements. You know, again, okay, uh, what you need to do is do the right thing to get the right results. Mm-hmm. Don't do the wrong thing. Hoping to get the right results, you mm. will not do it. You know, mm. it's like insanity, right? In- Einstein used to say that, you know, you keep doing the same thing, hoping for yeah. a different result. You're insane. You know what I mean? So don't do that, okay? Now, again, um, you know, uh, it is the the obsession with weight, with being thin, okay? Mm. I'm not putting the blame uh, with the media, you know, for okay. for showcasing, you know, people who's really way thin, mm. okay? Like uh, the models on the cover of magazines and all that, okay? Most important is that, you know, you know, as a teenager, you want to be in good shape and size. Mm-hmm. You want to be healthy so that you can do a lot of good things. You, you can have the energy and all mm. that and then still look beautiful, you know, rather than look sickly and thin mm. and not have the energy and even sometimes the mental prowess to actually uh, alertness even mental alertness okay. to do the things that you want to do mm. you know what I mean so uh, again write in that journal okay um, there's three questions you need to ask yourself okay number one who am I Mm-hmm. Number two, what do I want? Mm-hmm. Number three, what makes me happy? Mm-hmm. Okay, does make uh, does you know being thin, sick, no energy, mm-hmm. no stamina, even to do things you know to go out and all that. You need the energy to yeah. mix around with friends and all that. Okay, well I mean if you don't have the energy, all right. If you're sick all the time, does that make you happy? Mm-hmm. Right. I'm sure. You no, know, most of most of everybody will say that. Yeah, I want to be happy. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, that's the thing. So, but doesn't that yeah. image uh, of sickly women mm-hmm. appear a lot on magazines and mm-hmm. TV that that influence these young people? Yes, it does. Uh, yes, it does. Yeah. So again, you have to rethink. Okay, that's why I say write these three mm-hmm. questions, okay. answer it, and then be in good health and good shape. And good shape doesn't mean mm-hmm. fat. Mm-hmm. Good shape doesn't mean you just got to be, you know, the right, uh, you know, weight, you know, for your height level. And then you have to have the healthy uh, weight, healthy mm-hmm. fats inside, you know, mm-hmm. because if you don't have, you know, the healthy fats inside you and all that, all your vitamins A, D, E and K will not work. Mm-hmm. Even though you're popping pills, you know what right. I mean? You're popping your vitamin A's to Zach or something, mm-hmm. you know, or your minerals and yes. all that. But if you don't have real good food, it will not work, you know. Mm-hmm. So, okay, balanced nutrition is another thing that you need, okay? Okay. 
Uh, very simple, you know, have your, um, I'm going to give you as a nutritionist, okay, yes. what would work for a teenager. Very simple. Okay, change, if you are really so weight con uh, concerned, okay, change things to brown rice, change things to wholemeal bread. Mm. Have a uh, wholemeal bread with, um, you know, peanut butter, okay, that gives you the protein, okay, which helps you with your your uh, your, your muscle, uh, you know, uh, repair and recovery and all that, and muscle building and everything, you know. Mm -hmm. And when you go to the gym, all right, you need to have your, your soya bean, for instance, okay, to recover from, you know, so that your body, okay, will recover from the processes you go through it, you know. Mm. Um, when we go through life, you don't have enough rest, for instance, okay, you don't have enough sleep, okay, that would actually give you the cortisol, a lot of hormone called cortisol that actually uh, will uh, hamper in your weight loss. Okay. You know, some people say, Didi, I've watched my food. Okay, I only eat once a day, mm. you know, and um, you know, and I've exercised like crazy, and I don't lose that weight. Okay, and I tell them, or they ask me why. Oh, it's because you're not eating. That's why you're not losing weight. Right. And they say, huh? That sounds a bit ironic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> so very simple is that. Okay, I've I've been through it and all that. Mm. Okay. Uh, I've worked with many teenagers. Okay. I tell them that you have to get back to basics. Okay. All right. Have your three meals a day. Okay. Forget about snacks if you don't want them. Mm. That's fine. Have your three meals a day if you know if you're you're really concerned about portion. Okay. Just make sure you have the right portions and make sure that it follows the triangle yeah. where you have the good fat. All right. Okay. Uh. uh uh, not uh, like like uh, the white sugar is not good mm. for you. Okay, uh, not processed food, not hot dogs, not sausages. Of course. All right, something like that. Okay, uh -huh. and then make sure that you have your protein from your lean fat mm -hmm. meat and all mm -hmm. that. Uh, lean meat. Mm -hmm. Okay, and things that's that's really good. Yeah. Okay, now now Christmas is just around the corner. It's exactly. your turkey. All right, right, or your chicken breast or something. Mm -hmm. You know, and without the skin. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So that's I mean those are really things. Okay, now that's why I said you know you get back to basics. Enjoy your food. Mm -hmm. Okay, be happy and and your food would actually help you in right. the process of recovery you know and again my next project actually I'm very excited my next project okay that one uh, the fat to fit I did was for the whole of University Malaya community mm -hmm. and then uh, my next project that's one of my projects is going to be with uh, people who wants to lose weight you know uh, in the teenagers and the young adults okay. you know and I'm very excited because I think the young adults and teenagers sets the pace for what's coming on in later life mm -hmm. you know I mean you guys are the leaders of yeah. tomorrow you know, and it's you know you start gonna you you're gonna start thinking like a leader, mm -hmm. all right, all right. I mean, right now, perhaps you're in school, or maybe uh, you know you're in tertiary education, all right, or or maybe you just start your your first working uh, job, all right, mm -hmm. career and all that. Now, um, who are you? You're gonna be the next leader, right? You know, so start thinking like a leader. So okay. in order to start thinking like a leader, you have to start thinking right. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Yeah. So you we start will to, take. Sorry. You know, uh, look after your body, right? All right, we will go for another short break. When we come back, we will discuss about your uh, new travel fitness show, Travel Fitness uh, Asia with Didi on Astro All right. You're now listening to Durian Asia, the voice of discovery and sharing. Anything can happen Friday. The art and cultural site of Southeast Asia. Hello and welcome back to Duran ASEAN. You're still with Gary here and I'm still with Didi uh, in the house with me, patiently answering all my questions. <laughs> <laughs> so Didi, uh, for the last part uh, of the interview, of course, I want to talk about uh, your travel uh, fitness show that you will be launching. But before that, I want you to uh, quickly elaborate about uh, the different types of, of fat people because sometimes people can be really skinny and just because they keep eating a lot and they get fat. But some people uh, have just always been fat. Uh, it's, it could be a genetic thing. Is there hope for them as well? What what can they do? Okay, uh, there's no such things like, okay, if you're, um, you know, like, uh, if you're fat, mm. okay, like maybe, um, you know, they say by bucket or genetics, all right, um, fat, as long as it's fat, yes, you can lose the fat, okay, of course, there's hope, because mm. I I have, uh, you know, um, genetics, okay, genetically, mm -hmm. all my whole family uh, are obese, you know, my mom passed away right. from, uh, you know, stroke due to, I, I mean, see. because she was really obese, my dad was uh, having, you know, a um, um, uh, heart attack, mm. you know, diabetes and all that, uh, all my family, I mean, uh, there's even a, a brother who's 35 years old who suffered stroke, Right. you know what I mean, so, I had a brother who, um, who, who died at 49 years old, 
from stroke again. Mm-hmm. You know, so again, I'm I'm basically right now I'm not obese. You see, so it is something. Yes, there's hope mm. for all of us. Okay? okay, you don't say that because oh. yeah, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. you don't say that. Okay, because I have been through it, and yes, you know, I'm trying to tell everybody. I'm trying to show everyone that yes, yes there's hope. Okay, that's why I'm here mm. right now. You know, preaching. You know, uh, yes, there's hope. Let's uh, let's do the 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 proper mm. uh, things that we need to do. No, the exercise, the the breathing, the stress management, you know, and then the good food eating and all that, you know. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, do the right thing, get the right results, right? right. Okay, and then, again, uh, okay, people, you know, you, uh, you uh, everybody has to be clear on one thing, okay? Uh, people, uh, genetically, they put fats at different uh, places, mm. okay, at different times, okay? Like, I've got some people coming up to me and say, Didi, you see, look at me, I'm, I'm fat, you know, I've, I've got like heap fat, yeah. you know, uh, belly fat, yeah. and then my face, you know, like very chubby. Mm. I want to lose weight, but can can we make sure that everything else goes except my chubby face because <laughs> I think I love my chubby face because it's so cute, okay. you know? And then, okay, and then they say, no, every time when I exercise, my face, you know, mm. will be thinner and gaunt and, you know, stuff like that. Right. And then I say, okay, now, Everyone, we cannot choose where we lose our weight, okay? Our, our, okay. Our, where we lose our fat weight, okay? That one is gen- genetically predisposed, okay? It's like, let's say you, you, you put on fats, okay? The first place you put on fats is your tummy. Mm-hmm. Second one is your hips. Mm-hmm. Then the third one is your, your arms. And mm-hmm. then the fourth one is your face, okay. right? And then you start looking chubby. Then I'm like, okay, <laughs> do you know that it's like the accounting system, last in, first out? So it's your face going down first, and then after that is your arm, and then right. after that, you know, your your you know, and then your, okay, your okay. tummy will be the last one, you know. Okay. So what you need to do is the gone thing is because perhaps you don't have enough sleep, mm. you know. If you lose weight the right way, the healthy way, just like my fat to fit in mm. three months, you know, they lose their weight in 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 three months, twenty kilograms, just like that, in the right way, you know, we don't go on a starvation diet, we okay. eat things that we like to eat, mm-hmm. and then after we exercise, we have good stress management, and yes, they don't look. They don't look tired. Right. They have the extra energy and they're happy. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the, that's what we need to do, you know? Okay. Yeah. 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 And, uh, of course, from there, moving on to your own uh, fitness channel yeah, uh, right, that will right. be launching on Astro Awani soon. So, right, tell right, us right. about that. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yesterday, we, we had, uh, you know, a big uh, event, okay, at the press conference mm-hmm. of the Travel Fitness Asia with mm-hmm. Didi. All right. It's going to be on air on Astro Awani, all yeah. right, uh, in January. Okay. And, and that, that, that show is uh, where I merged. Um, you know, travel, okay, and fitness. Yeah. Whereby, you know, uh, travel, uh, when we do traveling, you know, how many of us, you know, when we go holiday, of course, you know, when we go for a holiday, uh, sometimes we're just so tired, we take a holiday, um, mm. you know, we always take a holiday and we need another holiday to get over our <laughs> holiday, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's right? true. So, yeah, and then when you go for a holiday, because there's so much, you know, uh, to be eaten, you mm. know, so you, mm. you just got to, you know, like eat, eat, eat and stuff yourself and yeah. all that, and then you come back fat, Yeah. right? And then, you know, people will say, Didi, I put on like two kilos in just one day, oh. or a couple of kilos in just, you know, a few days, you mm-hmm. know, and then I've worked so hard before, you know. So what do you need to do? Okay, in that show, okay, I actually, uh, you know, showcase, of course, you know, Malaysia, okay, uh, it's called Travel Fitness Asia with Didi, but the first two uh, two episodes, I showcase Malaysia, truly Asia, Malaysia, oh, okay. truly Asia, yeah. okay, and I've actually visited, uh, you know, uh, Malacca, the, the heritage city of Malacca, and then mm. I've, um, you know, I've showcased Kuala Lumpur, you know, all the cosmopolitan lifestyle of Kuala Lumpur. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, you know, when you travel, you know, to destinations, you know, in, in Asia or something, mm-hmm. all right, you can actually, uh, you know, how do you actually keep healthy while being there? So, I actually explore, like, things like when I was in Malacca, I actually explore, oh, they have the silat there. Right. Right? So, okay, how does it translate to real life? You know, what do they do, okay? Mm-hmm. And things like, you know, in that show, I showcase, like, the science behind the fitness of okay, Silat. Okay. You know, and how you can do that even while you're traveling. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like trying to, you know, keep healthy while yeah. you're traveling, looking mm-hmm. good yeah. while you're traveling. Yeah. And then, yeah, you and, know, and, and you mentioned something very interesting every day, which was mm-hmm. never take a day off from mm-hmm. looking good. Oh, yeah. Never take a holiday from <laughs> looking good. Never take a good. holiday from yeah, looking good. Yeah, never take a holiday from looking good. Yeah. That's my tagline for my Travel Fitness Asia with Didi. Right. So remember that. Never <laughs> take a holiday from looking good. Mm-hmm. Yes, you go take holidays, but never take a holiday from looking good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, just before we wrap things up for this morning, do you have any uh, final uh, fitness tips for our listeners out there? 
Okay, uh, number one, okay, um, all right, number one, be true to yourself, love yourself, you know, and the fitness tip is that, um, very simple, okay, uh, just, just back to basics, that's okay. one thing, all right, uh, keep a journal, okay, keep track of who you are, every mm -hmm. time when you're down, okay, always get back on track, okay, uh, don't go off the bandwagon too long, okay, mm -hmm. and then always, there's hope. Okay, that's hope for all of us. Yes, okay, yes. Oh, when we're talking about the three letter word, <laughs> FAT. All right, and for those of you, you know, who wants to join Fat to Fit Season mm -hmm, 3, of course. Okay, University Malaya is opening it up to everybody. Okay. Okay, everybody. So you go on, uh, okay, I, I think very easy. You just Google me, D E E D E, or uh, uh, just go on my website, www.ddfitness.com, D E D E fitness.com, and then I'll just drop me an email or something, and then I'll just reroute it to University Malaya. So okay. we can all work on it together. And again, I have that uh, youth and teenager you know exercise mm -hmm. routine that we're going to do together and yeah. in january all right on a wednesday evenings okay we uh-huh all right yes uh-huh me and gary yeah okay, we are going to <laughs> uh you know go on marathon zumba that's right okay uh samba style and okay <laughs> and then we're going to do a, a, a marathon uh you know uh, uh dance uh core workout and all mm -hmm. that and again uh you know that's one routine uh, okay in january can i can i mention this sure. on majala i say hat yeah okay um you know I, I showcase about you know how how to actually uh lose weight in the shortest way possible mm -hmm. uh with the plyo s uh exercise routine so okay. get that uh you know a uh, new year resolution for i i see right. yeah. and then you know get in touch with me and gauri uh -huh, uh, uh, for that uh, you know uh you know january workout yeah so thank you so much dd all the best for your future projects and thanks a lot for all the fitness tips that you shared with us this morning and when can uh we start watching your show on astro one -E? okay it's going to be on the 17th and 24th of january okay uh it's going to be on a sunday at 11 30 a.m on channel 501 okay. uh, Astro Awani and then yeah, they can also it's going to be put up on digital media mm -hmm. on www.astroawani.com uh, okay yes yes thank you guys thank you so much so it was nice talking to you